I think we all know that any given night, it could be one of our night, to be honest. Uh, we're all rooting for each other. If you go on our page and someone else posts something, like that's right on our story too. BJ can post something too. He first guy off the bench, starting five, like we all posted each other, just showing love as one unit. I feel like being in LA, um, the eyes are always on us. People want to be like us. They envy us. It's just everything. Everything is always focused on us. Uh, I feel like in Cali, we hold ourselves uh, to a much higher standard than most kids. On a bigger scale, I think the eyes are on Los Angeles, of course. Everybody wants to be a part of LA. Mid-major, low-major college ball player, you know, a guy interested in school. 
schools all over the country that, you know, kids only dream of going to. You know, I'm just looking forward to making, you know, my dreams come true someday. He knows that I'm coming different, so yeah. just know that it's, this is, y'all thought last summer was my summer. Just know, like, this, the next time I step on that court and play an actual game, it's, it's over with. It's gonna be, it's gonna be my year. Y'all thought last year was my year, it's gonna be my year.
not even tripping off that. If I'm me, I know what I can do on the. I know what I can do on the floor. You feel me? Like a lot of people that chase me, they're not chasing me. They're chasing the number one spot in the country. So, like then, like I'm just gonna keep being like me. I'm not worried about like the rankings or nothing like that. Like y'all can have the rankings. The rankings look cute and stuff on paper. Just going out here in Southern California, where the best hoops in the nation, you see that everybody else is evolving so fast out here. So everywhere I go, I just feel the spirit of Long Beach here. Long Beach stands behind me wherever I go. Well, first of all, I wanted to go somewhere and make a culture for myself. Long Beach Poly has been open for 100 plus years. So I wanted to come here, make my own legacy, and do some things that uh, nobody had done before, and that's what I'm trying to do. And just go out there and put on a show and win some games. We want to we wanna go as far as we can undefeated. We want to win every game. We want to go open division. We want to play the best team. We're not ducking any smoke. After Peace Jam, everyone, like, I was hitting all the bros, Scotty, everybody, Josh, was like, are y'all playing in Vegas? And then, um, we was about, it was all like, I don't know if we're going to do it, like, I'm tired, but, like, we just did all this extra stuff, like, I'm about to rest. And my coach, Coach D hit me, um, one of my coaches from Memorial, who was coached with Vegas Elite, was like, um, come play with us, I got your jersey saved. I was like, man, I'll play, and then I just hit Josh, and Josh was like, all right, I'm going to come play. But we just went out. I think we might be like one of the best duos to ever step on a court, if you ask me.
besides being like older now, you know, being able to like throw, just throwing lobs to each other, you know, just having that chemistry because we've been so cool for so long. It's, it's just the fact that we was on the court together. This is one time we walked in the gym. We walk in the door, see LeBron right there, bro. We walk in, he's like, oh, yo, bro, that's LeBron. So LeBron coming this way, <laughs> we walk the opposite way, bro. We like, let's go this way, let's go this way. We walk the opposite way, bro. Starstruck, bro. You know what I feel like I'm dead. <laughs>